Hi everyone! So I'm back today with another wax melt haul and this is my second order from American Made Wax Co. Um, I was super impressed with the first um, bags I got from her I guess. So I had gotten the two um, bundles. One was a general mystery bundle and one was the Touring America Part 2 bundle. Um, so yeah, and I loved everything. So she was having a 20% off sale, I believe. Um, so I decided, you know what? I'll make another order. And I got another mystery bundle, but this time I got the bundle that's like manly, floral, outdoor, clean mystery. And then I got a few other things um, a few other like Touring America scents that I wanted to get and then just some other random things from other collections. So yeah, let's get started. I haven't opened this either, so we'll open this together. And it's kind of like the Nerdy Wax Co. one where it's like a bubble mailer and then a box on the inside. So here's what the box looks like. And we will open it up, take out the invoice. Oh, okay. This time I got a little business card and another business card, which is super pretty. It's like glittery and a cute little sticker. So I wonder if someone else packed my box this time around because I didn't get these in my last order. And yeah. So this has to be my, my mystery box. I was about to say general mystery box, but it says man on here. So it was the manly floral outdoor and clean mystery, like I said before, and it's all wrapped up. So we will go through this last and we'll go through what I actually ordered first. Um, let me see. Okay. I think these two are samples. Let me check my order. Yeah, I think these are samples because I don't have them on my invoice. Okay, yes, I just checked my order really quick. These two were my freebies this time around. Um, so I got Fantasia Gardens, which is fresh lavender, cotton blossom, creamy vanilla, and soft sandalwood. And they look like little Mickey and Minnie's. Mmm, this one smells really good, like a clean scent. I definitely smell the cotton and yeah, faint like floral scent. This one's really nice. And then Stonewall Strawberry Lemon Whoopie Pound Cake. Okay, this one smells good too. I smell the strawberry and I smell the cake, so pretty much matches the scent description. And again, I'll put um, the scent descriptions down below. So these were my two samples that I got from her. Then we'll go on to my order before the mystery bundle. So the first thing I got was um, two things from the Touring America bundle that I did kind of want to get in my last bundle. That's when I was a little confused like what came in the bundle. Um, I wanted to get the Minnesota one. So this is Minnesota, don't you know? Um, and then this one I just kind of threw in because the scent description sounded good. And this one is Arkansas Watermelon Wandering. And let's see. Okay. This one smells really good. Definitely smell smells like watermelon, just like you would assume. Um, it looks like the color 
I don't know, it's kind of like a, a deeper shade of lime green and pink. And then there's some glitters in there. And then here is the Don't You Know. And it's a super pretty um, blue and white ombre with blue glitter. Yeah, this one smells super good. It's like hard to disti like distinguish exact scent notes, but it just smells really good. Um, I definitely smell the um, a little bit of fruit. It smells very calming and relaxing. So those are the first two things I got. Then I got Tropic, Tropic, no, Tropic. It like it's hot. Tropic it tro that's like a tongue twister, I feel like. Tropic like it's hot. So here's the tropic like it's hot. And it's super cute little like um palm trees um with little glitter and stuff like that. I smell like suntan lotion almost, which is maybe the coconut and vanilla. And I smell um, like tropical fruit, which makes sense. I almost smell pineapple, but it's not in the notes. Um, yeah, this one smells really good. A really nice summer scent. Then I got a few things from the Easter collection is what I'm assuming. Uh oh, my little bunnies got melted. So actually this order was supposed to come on Saturday, but it actually came today, which is Monday. And it was a really hot weekend. So some things probably did melt a little bit. Um, so this one is Hop Chicks. And they're really pretty. I'll take one out. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Mmm, so this smells really good. Again, like so far, all these scents are like very clean, fresh, calming scents. Like this one again smells like pretty gentle and not gentle in the sense that it's like light, but just the notes are just gentle fragrance notes. So that's what that one looks like. And then this one, which again is super cute. And it's a little bit of a cloudier day today, so I feel like my camera's not having the best time focusing, but we got this one, too hip to hop. I definitely smell the strawberries. This one almost smells like one of the earlier ones I smelled. It smells like strawberries and cake almost. Um, I guess not as bakery and a little bit more strawberry, but yeah, this one's really good. I think any strawberry scents are really good for the summer. Then I got one called Lucy in the Sky. Hmm. It smelled really good at first, but then now I'm smelling it again, I feel like it smells a little bit muskier, maybe? I mean, a really good scent. I think it would be good on like any day. I've, I've said this before, any day that you're like cleaning or getting things done. Um, a little deeper and not so like fresh and bright, but it still smells pretty clean, I would say. And then the last one I got, I'm kind of getting in the mood for fall season. So I think this was a fall, um, maybe a fall scent that she did last year. Rusting Witch Face, Caramel Apple and Butter Pecan. I'm super excited. And it looks kind of like a cauldron. Oh, wow. You smell the caramel a little bit at first, but then when you have the bag open, it's kind of airing out. You definitely get apple and it's not like baked apple. 
It smells like fresh Macintosh apple or something like that. Mmm, this one's really good. And then a slight, slight after scent of the butter pecan, but that one's very light. It's definitely heavy on the apple, then the caramel, then the butter pecan. That one's really good. Her, um, I would assume this is kind of like a souffle cup. It's kind of small on the smaller side, but it's really cute. I'd probably cut this up into a few different slices. All right, now we get to move to the mystery bundle. So we will open this up. All right. Ooh. Oh, I see one thing I already got. So I already got this one and I actually purchased this one. So, and these are already like pre-packaged pre -packaged up. So I doubt they know, like they probably don't remember what's in each package. So I got this one again, which yeah, I'm happy with that. I liked that. Then I got unreleased number one. This one smells good, a little bit richer. I would probably burn this in a borderline like transition from summer to fall. Um, this one's really beautiful. I got, looks like I got a lot more of the Overstock Christmas Harry Potter advent which I did get quite a few things last time. So I am seeing a few repeats, um, but that's kind of the gamble, I guess, of getting these mystery items. So Looney Love Good, which I didn't get last time. This one's really good. Again, um, because this is Christmas Advent, these to me are a little bit more like fall, Christmas, winter scents. Um, but this one's really good. Um, the notes aren't on here, so I'll list them down below in the description. But yeah, I like this one. I did get this one, but these are slightly different colors. And I think slightly different, like, um, embellishments. Yep, this one's definitely like a Christmassy winter scent. I like that one. I got this one as well and this one. So I have duplicates of these as well. Um, but there wasn't anything that I really disliked. So I'm I'm not upset. I'm I'm actually pretty happy. I, I liked these. I, I want more like fall winter scents to kind of stock up on. So yeah, I'm happy with this. Um Hagrid's Hut. So I didn't get this one. I love this. I love the paw prints. Mmm, this one smells good. A little bit more bright. I think I smell some apple in this one. Um, yeah, that one smells good. You're a Wizard, which I did get before, but it's a, a couple different shapes. Yeah, good. Again, like, I just feel like I can't really distinguish, like, the notes because they're not written. But again, just very fall, Christmassy um, scents. So she must have had a lot of the overstock Harry Potter scents because um, I think at least half of this bag is overstock Harry Potter as well. Whomping Willow, which I didn't have. This one's good. I It's kind of on the light end. Um, and honestly, a lot of these are starting to smell similar just because I, I'm smelling so many of them and they're all just that sort of Christmassy scent that you would think. Um, so, but yeah, they're all really good. I like that one. And a few more 
pipe tobacco, which I, again, I think I got this one too. I like that one. The next one I really want to try is her bakery mystery bundle. So next time she has another sale, I'll probably try getting the bakery and then I probably won't get any, any more mystery until like, I think she said she's going to have like a Black Friday mystery bundle sale. So I'll probably order again then. <laughs> And then three more, which again, I'm pretty sure I got this one. This one looks familiar, but this one smells really good. Again, I really like this one. Unrelease three, I don't think I have this one. This one smells really good. I would definitely smell burn this around Christmas time. Snow covered pine trees and cotton tree. And then here comes the sun, which I think I almost bought. So I'm really glad I didn't get that one. <laughs> this one smells really good. Really good for summer. Um, I really like this scent and it's really big. I'd probably cut this into a couple chunks. So that was everything from the mystery bundle. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen things. So I believe last time I got twelve items and this time I got thirteen. I'll have to see exactly how many, well I guess I'll just look now. So this one I got before, this one I got before, this one I got, this one I got, this one I got, this one. Okay, so out of the mystery bundle, I think about half of it was a repeat. So just keep that in mind. If you do purchase multiple mystery bundles, the chances of getting a repeat seem to be pretty high, um, but that's just kind of what you have to expect. You might get duplicates, but luckily I really like everything. I'm super happy with my order, um, and like I said, I definitely order again. I want to try to get that bakery mystery bundle potentially, and um, yeah, she's she's um, got great stuff, and I would definitely recommend her. So thank you for watching. Um, this was all I got so far this week. Um, if I get anything and anything else in the mail, I'll tack it on to the end of this video. But for now, thanks for watching. Hello. So today I have another part that I'm going to tack on to the last haul. And I have um, an order that came in today from Columbia Candle Supply on Etsy. And I ordered a couple different things. I got three mystery bundles and then I also ordered a couple different um, wax scents in as well. So we will open this together. Okay, so I just um, cut open the box and we got lots of peanuts. Let me get a garbage can. So I got another little note. So she handwrites the notes and another business card. So right off the top, I see the fruity bundle and I got a 10 ounce and then here's the bakery bundle and then here is the other bundle I got. So we will go through those last, the three mystery bundles I got. So we'll start first with what I ordered. So I know, okay, what did I order? I ordered this one for sure. Let me put this to the side. So I for sure ordered strawberry guava. I also got Rising Tides, um, I also got Land's End, I also got Flannel, 
um, sea salt and orchid I got. I'm just trying to look really quick what I got and what are freebies because she kind of throws in the freebies. Um, what else did I get? One, two, three, four, five things other than the bundle. So I think this is actually what I ordered. Um, and she throws in a lot of freebies. So let me go through these first. So the first thing I got is flannel and you can get different size ounces and they all range in price. So I think I got the cheapest one I could get of flannel and this is 1.2 ounces for $1.79. This smells very much like um, a manly masculine scent, kind of like, it smells like to me, kind of like a cologne. Um, I think this smells really good. Um, we will see if I get any duplicates when I open my uh, mystery boxes because I got the, one of them, which is the floral earthy fresh scent, which I wonder if any like manly scent would come in that, but this one is super good. Sea salt and orchid. And I got um, kind of a small size, 1.6 ounce. Mm, this one smells really good. I definitely can kind of smell that sea salty air sort of, and also the floral note. So I really like this. And look how beautiful that is, sorry kind of covered by the sticker but there's such pretty glitter and she has such pretty like detail on her wax melts. I got Rising Tides. Mm, this one smells very good, very like oceany and fresh. That's kind of what it looks like. So pretty. Um, Rising Tides I got in 2.1 ounce. Very good, fresh, clean scent. Um, oh, it looks like there's some notes on there. I got Land's End. Let me look. 1.7 ounce. And I think she has really good prices. This one was only um, $2.54. This one smells good. Kind of hard to distinguish what it smells like. Okay. Baja Cactus Blossom Citrus Sea Salt, Cardamom, Fresh Grass, Ozone Plum, Amber, Dark Musk. Yeah, this one's really good. I wouldn't say necessarily any season in particular, but maybe more just like a nighttime bedtime scent. And then the last one that I did buy was um, Strawberry Guava. And this one I got in 3.6 ounce. Ooh, this one smells really good. Look at how pretty those are with the glitter. I'm definitely smelling the strawberry and then, honestly, I'm not too sure what guava smells like, but I definitely smell the strawberry fruity scent. This one is, is super nice, would be an excellent summertime scent. So last time I purchased from her, I got a ton of freebies and I didn't even expect it. And they're like full size freebies. And this time I also got a lot. So I think we'll just go through the freebies and then we'll go on to the um, bundles next. So these all were in my box as well. Is that everything? Yes. So these were all freebies. Last time I want to say I got five. This time I got six freebies. And I would say these are like definitely full size. I mean, considering I got like these ones as full sizes, these two definitely look like full sizes to me. So I got beach linens, which did I get that? No, this one is about the size of the little floral sample I got before. Mm, this one smells really good. Definitely smell the linens, but I do smell kind of a beachy note in there. That one's so cute. That's a perfect size to just pop in the warmer. I got lavender and spring apricot. 
Ooh, that one smells really good. And it's so pretty. Lavender and spring apricot. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of florally, kind of fruity. I really like this one. I'm glad I got this. I would have definitely purchased this in a full size if I knew how good this smelled before. Um, watermelon, lemonade, and blue agave. And oh my gosh, I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. This is like a hot pink. It's so pretty with, look at that, like holographic glitter. Mmm, okay. Kind of softer. I'm not sure what blue agave smells like, but I definitely smell the watermelon. It, it doesn't smell too fake, like candy-ish. It smells really good. So I really like this one. Skittles. I was curious about that. I wonder if I'll get any in my fruity wax melt like this. Oh, wow. Hmm. So I wouldn't necessarily smell, say, like straight up Skittle candy, which I'm glad because I don't know what that might be a weird scent to melt, but it does smell like fruity, maybe the candy fruity scent. Um, but yeah, really nice. Blue raspberry cotton candy grape soda. Mmm. Blue raspberry cotton candy grape soda. I think I'm smelling the blue raspberry and grape soda. The cotton candy must be a little bit on the lighter side. Um, but yeah, that one's really good. Honestly, I am always a little scared of cotton candy scents because I'm nervous that they're going to be like too sick and like sickenly sweet. But um, yeah, so far I really like this one. And then the last one, blueberry pancakes with angel food cake. These are ones like that I wouldn't necessarily buy maybe, but I'm so glad I get them in like freebies or, or like if I get them in samplers because it makes me go out of my comfort zone. And I usually end up liking a lot of the scents I get. Ooh, I mean, I would definitely say this is fall. That is so cute. I smell definitely bakery with the angel food cake. The blueberry isn't as heavy, but I, I definitely think this is a bakery scent and I smell that first and then the blueberry is a little bit on the light end if I smell it at all. But yeah, I like this one. I like this one a lot. All right, now let's move on to my three mystery bundles that I got. Um, they were um, all $13.49, and I got the 10 ounce um, option. So we'll do this one that's right here. And they're kind of wrapped and bundled like this, so you know like this is part of the bundle and not part of like those freebies that are thrown in there. Right, so this one, floral, earthy, and fresh. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing the floral ones. Okay, rose vanilla. I know for sure I got rose in my um, sampler, the floral sampler I got last time, but it was really small. It was just like one of these. Um, and this one I remember liking. Mmm, yep. This one smells, honestly, I think even stronger. I definitely smell more rose this time around um, than like rose vanilla, but this one's super good. Wood, sage, and sea salt. This one's pretty light, but it smells very good and fresh. Um, I'm probably smelling like the sea salt more than I am the wood and the sage. Um, but this one smells really good. Probably a good like bathroom scent. Summer bouquet. And this one's really big. 
And yeah, this one smells very floral. Um, honestly, I even smell like the slightest bit of mint, but that might just be my nose like tricking me. Um, maybe like a dandelion a little bit. Um, it kind of smells a little bit green and floral. Really nice. Again, like a good summer or like bathroomy scent. Calla lily. This is a big one. Very pretty. Hmm. That smells really good. Again, floral. I mean, this is a floral mystery bundle. Um, but yeah, really nice. And her colors are just so vibrant, so bright, so neon. She has so much detail. Um, the sparkles, I just love it. They're all super pretty. Exotic flowers and lavender. Hmm, I definitely smell the lavender and the florals. This one's super pretty. I'm probably saying that about every single one of her melts, but they're all gorgeous. Um, pretty much smells like the, the name. Mountain Spring. Did I get this? Mmm, hmm, this one, honestly, this one smells like laundry to me. Um, very clean. And then Ocean Breeze. Maybe, did I get this one? I know I got some kind of clean scent last time. Mmm, this one smells good. Maybe it was this one? Honestly, I can't remember now, but I love these all, so... I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this mystery bundle. And again, that was the floral, earthy, and fresh bundle. Next one we'll do is the bakery wax melt bundle. And they're all, I mean, they're super pretty wrapped up in like um, individual like pieces of um, tissue paper. the bakery bundle. This time I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight things this time. Um, the first thing I'm grabbing, because it's a donut, um, blueberry pumpkin pancakes. Did I get that in my freebie? Um, no, the other one I got in my freebie was blueberry pancakes with angel food cake. So this one's a little bit different. And maybe it'll be a fall scent with the pumpkin. Ooh, this one smells good. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, I mean, this one I can actually smell the blueberry this time. And the pumpkin. Hmm, that one smells really good. I like that one. I'd probably burn that in the, like, early fall. Um, salted caramel popcorn waffle cone. Mmm, I mean, I'm definitely smelling caramel. Honestly, like, I'm not sure what waffle cone smells like, but I definitely smell salted caramel. Mmm, that one's good. See, a lot of these bakery scents, like, they all sound good, but I just don't know how much I'm gonna like it, so... I highly suggest doing these mystery bundles if you're like not sure what you want to order um, because I, like I mentioned before, I, I like almost everything I get in the mystery bundle. So I, I, I think they're a great value too. Sugar waffle cone. Oh, this is good. Now I'll get to see what, what that smells like alone. Oh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it smells like a waffle cone. I like this one. I could see that being a good mix, like half of that with something else. Old Town Bake Shop. Ooh, 
pretty. Hmm. I think this one smells a little buttery. A little popcorny, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but that's nice, a good melt size. Pazel. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Oops, I keep like ripping the bags. Hmm, what is this? I don't really know what this is, but it smells good, just like a, you know, a bakery scent. I would probably say this one's like a little bit on the lighter end and would probably make a good mix. I'll probably like mix this with something. Zucchini bread and graham crackers. I'm always wondering what zucchini bread is. Hmm. This is kind of an interesting one. Zucchini bread. I think that's what I'm smelling more. Um, hmm. Yeah, that one's interesting. I don't dislike it. It's just interesting. I don't know how I feel about it at the moment. Um, Rice Krispie Treats. I remember seeing this one and kind of wanting it, so I'm glad I got this in the bundle. Hmm. For some reason, I thought this was going to end up smelling more marshmallowy. But it's not that strong, like, marshmallow vanilla scent. It, it smells maybe more on the Rice Krispie end. I just assumed it would be, like, you know, the Rice Krispie and marshmallow, like, treat blend. But I don't smell marshmallow that heavily. And then chai latte. Ooh, this one's a very good, like, I can smell spices. This would be a good, um, like maybe mixer scent. I mean, it honestly doesn't smell too much like fall. Um, it could be a fall scent, but yeah, just kind of a spicy scent. So yeah, this one smells super good. So I really liked that bundle. Again, like super great value. Um, eight items for... $13 about. So yeah, not bad. And moving on to my last one, which is the Fruity Wax Melt Mystery Bundle. All right. So here's what I got in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I got eight again in this one. This one is huge, oh my gosh. Um, blood orange and goji berry. Oh, blood orange fruit loops and goji berry. Oh my gosh, this one's... First of all, the colors are beautiful. I would, just, I would say I'm definitely getting the orange as the strongest note. And the other two I'm not sure about, but I, I really like the orange scent. It's like a very pretty fresh orange, but not like squeezed orange juice. Like it's very beautiful. Um, blue agave melon. Ooh, this one smells really good. It's almost on the line of like the rising tides, um, ocean breeze, laundry. It's almost on like that line. Hibiscus guava fresca. Mmm, this one's very pretty, not overpowering. Um, actually more on the light end, I'd say. Um, it's like a fluorescent hot pink. Um, yeah, super good. I would melt this anytime. Probably more of a summer scent, but very pretty. Q 
Cucumber melon. Ooh, I'm curious about this. I almost bought this. Ooh, I love it. Brings me back to the cucumber melon like body wash and body spray that I would get from Bath and Body Works. I really like this one. This would be a good bathroom scent. Um, grape blow pop. And yeah, that smells like a great blow pop. Kind of reminds me of like, I got a Nerdy Wax Co. Company um, wax melt in a mystery bundle and it was a grape too. And it kind of smells like that. Um, like a, yeah, like a great blow pop. I really, I really surprisingly like, liked it too when I burned the Nerdy Wax Co. one. So I think I'll really like this one. Um, Fruit Loops. Okay, I wanna know what this smells like cause I had that other blend with Fruit Loops, but I didn't really smell it as much. Okay, I mean, yeah, I definitely smell like the Fruit Loops cereal, but it does smell orangey. Like maybe now I was smelling it in the other blend, but I, it smells orangey with like that cereal Fruit Loop smell. That one's really good. That's a good like morning scent when you first wake up. Cherry cake. Definitely cherry, but not like the gross like medicine cherry. Yeah, this really does smell like cherry and cake. I like that. And then my last one I got is peaches and cream. Ooh, that's nice. That's a really good peach scent. Um, yeah, pretty much like what the name says, peaches and cream. Um, so yeah, that was my um, fruity wax melt 10 ounce bundle. Um, and then I also had the bakery one, um, the floral and earthy one. And then I got those five other ones that I purchased. And then I got the six freebies. So, oh my gosh, I highly recommend Columbia um, candle, um, candle Supply on Etsy. She's wonderful. She ships so fast. And I think you get so much wax for what you're paying for. Um, so yeah, I highly re recommend. Clearly, this is my second purchase from her. Um, and yeah, you can find her on Etsy. Um, thanks for watching this portion of the haul.